everyone, it's Victor, King of Morons. Welcome to another long ass video. Morons, welcome to another laundry video. But this one's going to be different. It's going to be different from uh, from before, as you can see by the intro by Tomoko Desu. Thanks a lot, Tomoko. I have made a lot of videos in the last few days, and if you check the Give Me a Breakman channel, you'll see that I've uploaded a uh, new Mully and Victor uh, collaboration a quiz type thing. And we've got two more that have already are already finished, already uploaded. I'll just be uploading them a little bit slower, as in tomorrow, you know, which is in 12 hours or so. Um, but today's video uh, is just a long asked video as Tomoko said and I'm going to be just desc describing Child's Day. Child's Day is May 5th and it's uh it's, it's always been a fun day for me because of the koino body. I love I love the uh the koino body the um the what do you call streamers, the carp streamers. <laughs> anyway, uh so what I'm going to do with this this laundry video is do something a little bit different. Uh first of all, first of all, I have to say thank you to a couple of little pieces of news. Uh, first, Yam, Yami Amato, Amano, Amano, Yam, Yamato, is that right? Ami Yamato, I think that's her name. Uh, the the vlogger who let me let me look at look at her look her up right now. I tend to slur my words a bit. I have to be more careful. Anyway, she put up a she's on Patreon and she put up a new uh, Patreon uh, video. It was for Patreon only, and it's good. It's really good. It's um, it's a reaction video of the Star Wars thing. Uh, she she puts up a lot of really interesting stuff. So uh, I'm really happy that she's doing well. Anywhere, uh, hmm, that's uh, one thing. The other thing is uh, the guy who who offered and gave out a free trip to Japan. D. W. Jackson's birthday was last week, so I just want to say happy birthday, man. I missed it two days ago. Uh, also. Uh, Maggie Sensei, Maggie Sensei's, Maggie Sensei, of course, the the person behind Maggie Sensei, Yukari's birthday was also recently, very recently. I want to say thank you. They are just great, um, uh, great people in in their very different ways. You know, they they contribute a lot. Uh, although you might not know it to the to the society to the uh, J Vlogging Society uh, in their own different ways. So I want to thank them, and they've both been very very supportive. So. Thank you, both of you, and congratulations. Let's see how this stuff is up. Um, J J Jake Nolts is going to take JLP3. Uh, and he's got a few months, I think. Um, you can do it if you study, but you gotta study. That's the thing. You really gotta study. Uh, not a big deal. A little news that's off the top of my head. Let me see what's up, what else is going on. Oh, Mug Mully, M Muggy. <laughs> Mully came down to visit. We made a lot of videos, so watch for those too. Face-to-face -face videos. Uh, the baby makes him cry a lot. <laughs> Molly makes the baby cry a lot. Oh, uh, Busan Kevin made a really cool koi nobody pizza, which I thought was pretty cool. I've been, it's funny, like this is golden week, so I've had a lot of time off, but I spent most of that time holding the baby, <laughs> changing the baby, walking the baby. Uh, I hope he doesn't grow up to be a spoiled brat. <laughs> But he, um, you know, he cries a lot, and you don't know why he's crying. You change him, he calms down, and he starts crying again. You take him outside, he stops crying. Bring him inside, he starts crying. The whole, my whole, uh, every day is is, is re revolving around this. But anyway, let's see what else. Uh, I have been very busy with the editing, so I've edited three videos, like I've, like I just said. Oh, and, and actually, I did a great, uh, not a great, but very different. I did a video of. Uh, Two of my students, Kibi and Hitoshi and Tomoko and I, talking about the Abe speech. Uh, uh, Shinzo Abe gave a speech here in Japan. No, no, in America, sorry. In front of Congress. And we studied the first two pages of it. And we kind of, anyway, we studied it and we talked about it on camera. And it was kind of interesting. And I've never made a video like that before. I'm always trying to make new, new types of videos. Uh, I have to say that the Patreon has really helped. Uh, it's given me a little bit more freedom to be able to... Uh, put a little more time into YouTube, as you can see by my output. Uh, I, I'm thinking about changing my name to the hardest working vlogger. Not the most popular <laughs> or the most viewed, but the hardest working, because I put a lot of work into these videos. But uh, you guys really encourage me with the Patreon stuff. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Patreon is a place where you can support me by throwing me a couple bucks your way in exchange for certain things, like uh, giveaways every month. Uh, or if, if you don't want to do that, there's also fan funding now. Which I, you know, I back. I got to be honest. Back six years ago, when all this stuff started, that stuff like this was like, 
the, even mentioning this was like internet suicide. You couldn't mention anything like, give me money. Uh, but um, you, you guys who are supporting me, and those of you who are not, but just watching the videos, that also that's also supportive. If you don't have money, you know, I completely understand it, and I don't blame you. But those of you who out, who are using Patreon to support me uh, actually does help me put out much more content and better content, as you can see, um, because I can pay for th for for more things. And and um, I don't want to get into the specific of who gets paid what, but <laughs> but I'm able to actually uh, spend a little more time uh, on YouTube and not uh, and uh, not get any grief. How about that? Let's put it that way, uh, because because. You know, right now I've got responsibilities, and one of those the big responsibilities is the kid, the kid. But anyway, uh, that, that just little little news. I've I've been a bit um, a bit behind with uh, keeping you up to date with with the news, and I haven't been watching as many other vloggers as I used to, just because it's hard to get anything done uh, with the kid, right? I I I um, what was it? Oh, I did find out something really interesting. Uh, YouTube added a new sec, a new what do you call it? A new piece of information in their analytics section, where you can actually you see that I cut myself sharing. Uh, you can actually see uh, how many views you get. How many you can actually break down your views ac according to subscriber views and non-subscriber views. And I was really surprised to see that the people who are subscribed to me actually provide one third, not even one half, one third of the amount of total views. Uh, one, two, yeah, about one third of all my views come from my subscribers. Which, which if, if you think about it, there's two ways to think about it. One of them is, wow, my subscribers suck. <laughs> but no, 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 no. But um, actually, I was thinking about this and I was thinking my views are actually pretty good considering who I am, middle-aged guy, no tits, Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. I mean, guys don't care. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. No, you know, I'm because most of the people on the internet, let's face it, are guys. Most of you, most of the people watching me right now, uh, have the uh, is it is it the XY chromosome? I forgot now. I should know which one is it XY. What what kind of chromosomes do, do men have? I forgot now. I I'm so I haven't had to worry about that for or for for, for years because I don't take a test. Uh, DNA male XY. Why, why, XX? Yeah, okay. Anyway, so let me see, XY, okay, so humans. Let me see. This and another, I could, I could look at this, okay, feel. Okay, females have XX, I was right, yay. Okay, I think a single, uh, okay, yeah, so XY, male, males have XY. So we are the XY, <laughs> and women are XX. Which is kind of weird because like X, like porno, right? Double X. I could be completely wrong, but anyway. So let's get back to this. So here's a here's the thing about the the subscriber thing, which I thought was interesting, and that was that most of my views actually come from people who are not subscribed to me. So so you can look at it two ways. Two ways you can look at it and say, screw all my subscribers, I'll do whatever the hell I want. I'm not gonna be nice to you guys. Or, which I I've decided not go not to go that way. I've decided to say, hey, you know, it's only due to my subscribers that my videos get enough motion, get enough uh, activity, you know, get m momentum going when they first come out, that other people can see them. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking, uh, honestly. So I was thinking, you know, I should really be nicer to my subscribers. So I'm going to figure out how, how can I be nicer to you guys. I mean, I think I'm pretty nice to you. I don't want to kiss ass, you know. I still want to be honest and disagree with you and tell you when you're when you're being dicks, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I you know there's there's a uh, speaking of which, um, <laughs> there's a big I had a big debate with uh, Tikio Sam about whether we should acknowledge haters and stuff. He's of of the mind that you do not you never acknowledge them. A lot of people have that you know don't feed the trolls kind of attitude, but for me it's it's kind of uh, hypocritical to to do that because. Uh, because off camera, all the vloggers you know talk about it. They will talk about it. You know. In fact, it's almost like it's almost kind of sad to be honest. I mean, in the, in I, and and me too in the beginning. But you almost kind of use it as a kind of badge of honor, and they're like, "Oh, I got this crazy guy. He's really crazy." And this, let me tell you what he said. 
but I think I think it's um, I don't think I do as much anymore, very little. But of course, there are some some of some of the some of the commentators who just drive me crazy. For me, it's not so much the hate as the illogicalness of it. You know, like I got like even I'll just show the, the the most recent example was some guy got on the got in my comment section on Give Me a Flake Man today and said, I I'm not buying that bullshit that that bitch and referring to Tomoko that bitch doesn't speak English. I'm sure she speaks English. And I'm like, I never said she didn't speak English. You know, like some people don't don't get the idea of why our videos are made in certain ways. You know, like. When Tomoko and I do a video together, often the point is for her to speak as much Japanese as possible to give you listening practice. And, and you know, for those of you who are studying Japanese, you know, it's kind of interesting. You can hear her speak Japanese. You can hear me hear, speak English. And then we try to teach you a little, uh, a little, a little uh, Japanese that way. So it's kind of, kind of interesting, we think. But of course, you get these weird people sometimes that say, it's so frustrating. Speak, to, speak one language only, you know. And they're so crazy root like all this I got I got to I got to reach you this one this one uh where is it there's one really funny one it was so funny where is it <laughs> you got to read it because it's and this is the thing that that other people other bloggers won't do because they think that it's uh <laughs> you're just feeding the, the I didn't even block this guy check out this check out this comment okay this this is from Chandler Michelena which looks sounds like a real word this guy is a douchebag. Shit, they are just questions. A answer them, motherfucker. If this, mo I think he's trying to say, motherfucker ever mock me like this asshole, I would chop off your arms and legs and watch you veggie tail hop out of your burning fucking building. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> and then the next comment he wrote on a different, on the same video. Even to prove my point you're a douchebag is your, is your profile pic character has a soul patch. Nigga, I'd knock you the fuck out and put a Glock 17 to your face and unload a clip. <laughs> I really like that. I mean, this guy has at least a really good imagination. But um, here's another. But I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing that really bothers me. And, it's, uh, and I guess I, 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 I come off as an asshole for, co for returning fire, so to speak, because it's not really... It's not really an aggressive, it's not a purposely aggressive uh, attack, but I, I put up um, pictures of me and, and the kid on um, on Facebook or or into Instagram, right? And and they're usually basically, I usually try to have fun, you know. So I put up a picture, and I actually made a video that I never put up. I'll put it up, I'll try to remember, put it up in the video. Okay, video. I finally got the baby to sleep. But if I take out my arm, you might wake up. I feel like that movie, what is it, 28 hours or something? 24 hours? 48 hours? What the, what's that name of that movie? If I chew off my arm, if I get a knife, start sawing away. Um, I put up a video, I put up a picture of me with the baby in my arms, and I'm, it's on the bed, I'm holding the baby. And I'm kind of trapped. My arm is trapped between the baby, the the baby and the bed. And I made a joke like, "Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. What do I do?" You know. And I was looking forward to people saying, "Oh, you should get a knife and cut off your arm, or saw, or not, you know, bite off your arm, or something funny." You know. It's just a joke. But someone wrote, and I put away your camera, man. Put it far out of reach, and just enjoy this time. Like, I don't understand um, why. Why people tell me things like that, you know, <laughs> like the only, the, I mean, don't you get the irony? The only way this picture, you can comment to me about this. The only way we're communicating now is because I was able to put this picture up and it's obviously a joke picture, right? And just because I take a picture of my kid doesn't mean I'm spending all my time uh, taking pictures of the kid. I mean, on, on the internet, I'm not, I mean, the kid's not in that many pictures. I got another one, a logical, that Jake Googie, the, the insane person who, who comments, uh, I mean, I commented about him a few days ago. That guy's, that guy's insane. Just, he's, he's stupider than, than, than a rock. But, but the funny thing is he thinks he's logical. That's the thing that gets me. He's just like, oh, he just thinks he's so smart. But, oh, thanks to uh, someone from the, the Hanami gave me this cup from Massachusetts, I believe. Right? Oh, no, Canada. I'm sorry, Canada. That's from Canada. This is from Massachusetts. I don't know. This is this is from Justin. Uh, we did the uh, tofu eating thing together. That was cool. Um, we're still recording here. Yeah, good. 
Well, I guess it's go I'm going to make two uh, videos tonight, I guess. I was going to do this. This video is going to be part of um, the Child's Day thing, which you're just going to have to wait. But Justin gave me um, some Canadian Crown Royal. That was good. Oh, and, and uh, you know who was funny? Andre come by, came by the school the other day. He's the Jamaican guy. And he kind of hung out at the school with Tomoko. They made videos together. It's funny because my, my staff is like, why is this, why are these, these people hanging out at the school? You know? Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta tell, I gotta tell people this. I think I mentioned this before, but I can't, I gotta stop meeting people. Um, after this Saturday, I'm going to meet Kate McDowell. Cause she's an old friend, but I'm going to start saying no to new people because I just, um, and I hate to be a dick about that, but, um, boy, this video is all, all over the place. Isn't it? I just can't, I, I, I met four new people that I'd never met before last month. And it's just taking too much time out of my day. Uh, you know, I got to spend more time on on uh, my job uh, and my family. So, mm. which is not to say that I actually really enjoy. Well, today I'm drinking Huntington House. I don't know what this stuff is new. I thought I'd try it. It's cheap too. It's like a thousand yen, ten bucks. But you can tell it's a little. That's good. That's a little smoky, but um, I enjoy meeting new people every time. But it does it is it's starting to stress me out because it's just taking too much time away from things I I need to do. Uh, not that I don't need to meet you. <laughs> That's not what I mean. But you know what I mean. Anyway, back to this uh, back to this these comments about my kid. Right, there's one guy that comes on Instagram every few days. And writes, your kid is ugly. That's the ugliest kid I've ever seen. Which is, you know, which is just weird to write. Because, I mean, do, does he think that that's going to hurt my feelings or my kid's feelings? The kid can't read yet. And it's just like, it's going to upset some people who read that. But it's not going to upset me. So I just, I don't even, I don't even, I, they don't bother me enough. That kind of comment is like, not illogical. You know, I know exactly what they're doing. They're just being dicks. And they're trying to get a rise out of me. So I just block and delete them. I don't even remember their names. I think in the old days, like when I first started, I would be like, who is this guy? Uh, write down his name, complain maybe, but I don't even remember who writes this stuff. But but it's funny that they would they would bother doing that. And it's like the same guy, I guess, because I every few every week or so I get the, the same comment. That's uh, such an ugly kid. <laughs> OK, but back to the, the, the comment about don't take you know, don't pay, take pictures of your kid and spend, you know, you have to you have to, you know. That's just so just so ridiculous to say to say something like that. So someone wrote that on my uh, Facebook the other day, and then wrote, um, you know, this you have to you value this time. Like, yeah, you can't you can't appreciate time if you don't, if you take a picture. Somehow, what is that? Like stealing your soul? I don't understand. So I wrote this guy because I the funny thing is I I looked him up and I was like, this guy is friends of a friend of a friend who I know. So I thought, maybe I know this guy, you know, so I wrote him, I said, do we know each other? He's like, yeah, I think we met once. I'm like, well, you know, what's your connection here? I'm like, and I said, well, you know, honestly, the only reason I'm writing you is because you know this guy, you know, Joe, whatever, Joe Smith. I know Joe Smith, and you know Joe Smith. So just thought maybe. But to be honest, I was kind of annoyed by that comment. He's like, I'm just trying to help you. I'm like, really? <laughs> that's, that's the thing. That's like, you don't, you don't need to help me. I don't need, I don't need help. I don't need advice about how to raise the kid or how to spend my time on the internet with the kid. Your, your advice uh, regarding the kid is not welcome. A lot of people sent me that uh, how to put a kid to sleep in one minute video. Haven't watched any of them. Not interested. I want to make my own mistakes. Though my wife saw it and she tried it and didn't work. So there you go. So um, yeah, I want to do my own stuff. I don't I don't care about stuff like that. Okay, I think I've, I'm, I feel like I've said this before, but maybe not. Anyway, kind of a rant, kind of just a hello to everybody. I will tell you what is going on. I have a new video uploaded uh, on Give Me a Break Man that's already two two videos in the last four or five days have been uploaded and are being are public. Another one is uploaded, but not it's up is privatized, but will be uh, public in a few hours. Patreon people have been getting new videos every day now. That's my new thing. I'm going to try to upload even something small, just something interesting that I think that that uh, regular people won't get just to say thank you to the Patreon people because they really are really helping me out um, monetarily wise. And I, w I want to show them that I do appreciate them. And again, uh, if, if you want to support, they're great. If not, you know, I fine. But but 
But I really do appreciate your support on these videos. So you can do that by just commenting and sharing. That really does help. And uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. And I got a Japanese for Morin's video up. It's really risque. And it's with Mully. And that's already up uploaded. And it's on the Japanese for Morin's channel. And that will also go live tomorrow at the same time. Tomorrow morning early. In about eight hours. Nine hours. I want to get to sleep. Anyway, and the next video I'm going to do in just a few minutes, I'm going to try something new. It's going to be a laundry video as well, but I'm going to be showing you uh, the May 5th day in Japan, which is Ch Children's Day. And I'm going to show it to you and and inter interrupt the video with these clips that I'm doing, a video, a mini videos of this, me talking to you to the camera so I can explain what's happening. I thought about dubbing the thing, and, um, you know, actually dubbing my voice over it, but I tried it and what happens is you went, I end up dubbing over some things that a lot of people might want to hear. Other people may not care, but you know, it takes, it's, it takes value away from the actual uh, video. So what I'll do is show you. I'll, no, I'll tell you what's going to happen and then I'll show it to you. And I'll tell you what's going to happen and I'll show it to you. I guess that's, yeah, it's not, it's not like a big surprise. It's just, I'm just going to explain what's happening. So, because a lot of it is in Japanese, so you won't get it. Uh, or you won't, or it's culturally, it's just like, you know, a scratch, a head scratcher. Like, like what, what are they doing? What's going on? I don't get it. Uh, I guess that's about it for now. Uh, now I'm going to say goodbye now and go and make that video and upload that. So you'll get two videos tonight. Two long ass laundry videos, and I guess that's a that yeah. So we'll see in the, see in the next video. Go go watch that right now. And if you haven't seen the Give Me Breakman video, go or the Abe video on Give Me Breakman. Go watch those. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.